Hi everybody, I'm Fred. This is Wood Tools Workshop and this is a threaded insert. The purpose of a threaded insert, also called a threaded bushing, is to create a threaded hole in some object, usually by being inserted into a hole in the object. They come in a variety of styles and sizes. Some are hammered or pressed into the hole. Some inserts have threads both inside and outside. This is called an externally threaded insert. A hole in the object may be first tapped to fit the insert or the insert may be self-tapping. An externally threaded self-tapping insert is what we'll be using today. The inserts I'm using screw into a 3 8 inch hole in the stock. Their inner threads fit a quarter inch 20 thread bolt. The way to screw the insert down into the 3 8 inch hole is to put a couple of quarter inch nuts on a quarter inch hex head bolt, screw the insert onto it, and then use that to screw the insert in. You can do this with a wrench, but keeping the insert perfectly straight is very difficult. So a common way of installing it is to cut the hex head off the bolt, put it in your drill press chuck, and turn the spindle by hand as you apply downward pressure. Here you can see that the drill press is keeping it perpendicular to the wood as I screw it in. This is the base for a jig that I'm working on. I need eight threaded inserts in it along this line and this one. So let's go put them in. This is just not going to work. It's too big and unwieldy to do it up here on the drill press table. I'm going to need to build a jig. The idea with this jig is to go ahead and use a socket wrench on the bolt to screw the insert in, but use a thick piece of wood to hold the bolt straight as you do so. We'll drill a quarter inch hole through it for the bolt and cut out a section at the bottom where the screwing action takes place. So here's the basic idea. The bolt goes through the hole that we just drilled. The hole's exactly the size of the bolt, so it's going to hold it straight. After it goes through, we've got to put a couple of these nuts on here so that we use up any extra thread and our threaded insert can't screw up that far. So now we've got just enough thread there for the threaded insert. But one other thing that I want to do, and that's what the spring and the washers are for, I want to put this spring on here on the other side of these nuts so that it provides a little downward pressure to get the thread started on the threaded insert when we're screwing it into the hole. And obviously I didn't leave myself enough space up here for that, so I'm going to have to go back and recut this. By golly, that might work. I don't know, I may have to go back and take another eighth or so off of it. We'll see.
I can see one thing is that I need to put a washer here on the top. It goes on through the block, another washer, our spring, nuts, I have just remembered a tip somebody gave me about this. He said, put wax on the threaded inserts before you screw them in. I forgot to do that on these three, but I do have some wax. At this point, the jig was functional. It was time to shape it some to make it fit your hand better. And after all, a jig's not professional until it has rounded corners, right? Right? On that project base, I had four more inserts to insert, giving this new jig a chance to prove itself. And it did. I was very happy with the way it performed after I got the dimensions right. The bolt is three inches long. The wood holder wound up being two and a half inches high. The cutout section for the screwing action was one inch back from the edge and one and a quarter inches up from the bottom. If you aren't a subscriber, please do so. If you found this information useful, please hit the like button. And leave me a comment to say hi and tell me what's on your mind. See you soon.